In this video, I will show you how to create Windows Server template in VMware Workstation and the end result will be more or less the same as if you would use a VMware Easy Installer and we will achieve that by using AutoNet and File. As you can see here, I already prepared the installation disk for Windows Server and AutoNet and File. I will leave a URL in the description down below where you can get both of them. But for now, let's begin by creating a virtual machine. Click on File, New Virtual Machine. Here I will select Typical Recommended and click Next. And this is this step is kind of important because we don't want to provide the installation disk now because we don't want the Easy Installer to activate. So I will be selecting I will install the operating system later and click Next. Here, make sure that Microsoft Windows is selected for your guest operating system. And for the version, make sure that Windows Servers 2022 is selected and click Next. Here, I will name my virtual machine underscore win SRV underscore template and click Next. I leave defaults for the disk settings and click Next. And we will not customize hardware now because we will do it later. And click Finish. And now for the next part, let's go to my GitHub page. As you can see, I left a few commands here and also the auto on attend file. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. First, let's check out the auto on attend file. And these are the settings that will be performed that will be set uh, during the Windows Server installation. Uh, for example, here the first part is the disk configuration. Uh, here is the image installation. And this is an important uh, part. It should work just fine if you are using uh, the installation disk uh, from the description down below, from URL in the description down below. But if you are using uh, disk installation from any other source, it's possible that it has more uh, images inside of it because one disk image ha can have multiple Windows images inside of it. And as you can see, uh, I'm using, using the index and I'm selecting the fourth one. And I will show you a bit later how to check uh, what images are inside of the ISO. The next step is language settings and Everything will be English United States. The next part is setting the password for the administrator account. So you can remove it or leave it or change the password to whatever you like. And also I have this auto logon enabled. You can change the account on how many times the auto logon will work. And I'm using auto logon because after the installation, I want uh, for the user to be logged in into the, his desktop because then these commands will start running. And this is uh, an important step because the first command is to install VMware Workstation tools so that we don't have to do that manually. And the second, second one is to disable the timeout on the screen because when timeout happens uh, it logs out the user account and i don't want it uh, to time out and for me to enter the password every time it does that and you can actually add way more commands here so for the disk selection uh, part for that we need to go to where our installation disk is and we need to mount it or in my case i will use 7-zip to extract the contents we can go inside of it and the file that we are looking for is in source and is this one here is the install.win and this is the file where all the windows images are so to check what, um, what 
windows images are inside of it let's go a bit back and i left this dism command basically uh, it's this part here and then we need to provide the location for that install.vim file so i will just copy it and i will paste it into my administrator powershell window and press enter and as you can see my image has uh, four images and two of them is for windows server standard and one is with the desktop experience and one is without and uh, here is the uh, windows server data center edition and here is the windows server data center with desktop experience so here are four images and depending where you get, got your installation disk there can be more or less of them here and as you can he see here the index is for for the windows server 2022 data center evaluation desktop experience edition so i will be installing this one if you would like to install the standard then you would select the index too okay okay so the next part now let's go back a bit and i don't need the folder anymore <clears throat> and like i said in the autonet file there is a part which is installing VMware workstation tools and for that to happen we need to get the installation file and we will do that by going to the location where uh, VMware workstation is installed and looking for the file that's called windows and if you have extensions enabled it's windows iso and i will copy it from here go back to my downloads folder i will use it as my staging area and paste it here then i will use 7-zip to extract once again and here i will take the setup64 file that's the only file that we need from here and I will paste it here. And also I will make another folder. And I will call it, let's say, ISO. And I will put both of my, both uh, the auto on the file and the setup64. Yeah, so like you see, I have an ISO folder with both of these files. And the next step is to make an ISO which will contain both of these files. And for that, there is this next command. I will also paste it in to my terminal. And as you can see here, we are using a utility that's in VMware Workstation folder that's called MKSLFS. Uh, and this is a very nice uh, standalone, standalone utility that you can use for this or other projects and also for this command to work properly we need to provide a destination and the source and the source is basically uh, will be the folder that i just created it's in my downloads uh, folder where the two files are located so i will just delete that and paste in the source and now we need to provide a destination where it should create the ISO image for us. So I will also will use the I will also use the downloads folder for that. And I will name it Windows SRV Autonet.iso and click enter. Okay. Now that we have um, our ISO file, we can go to Vember Workstation and edit the virtual machine settings. I will start by providing the installation disk. And this is kind of important. First, we need to provide the installation disk. And then we need to add another CD DVD drive and to provide the ISO that we just created, the Windows ISRV 
alternate and ISO that we created in our command line. And the order is important because if we are we are doing in this order, then if we look in the inside of the autoletent file, the disk that we mount will be as if it's a D drive. So if by any chance uh, the installation of installation of VMware tools are, is not working, make sure um, that the drive here is the same as in the virtual machine. Okay. Uh, and we can do other changes that we would like our virtual machines to have. Like I will remove the sound card and the printer. I will change memory for from 2 gigabytes to 4. I will change processor from two processors to one and I will change course from one to four and for network connection I like my virtual machines to have bridge connection because I like them to be in my network as if they are uh, regular computers and click OK And the last part that's left is to create a snapshot. I click on the virtual machine, go to snapshots, click click snapshot, and I will name it underscore SRV. Uh, I don't know, template. And then take snapshot. Okay. Now we need to edit the virtual machine settings once more. Go to options, go to advanced and click enable template mode to be used with for cloning select that and click ok and that's basically it now we can use this template to create virtual machines and to do that we can right click it again go to manage click clone next here uh, we can select the template that we want if we have more than one then click next once again here you can select linked clone or full clone. I would highly recommend full cl clone in this case because mm, the template is doesn't have the operating system in it right now. So you would not get any benefits from linked clones. And click next. I will name it uh, then a survey and click finish. Now basically what's left is to power it on and see what happens. As you can see here, Windows, inst Windows Server installation has started without any user interaction. And it should continue until we see a user's desktop. Now it is loading Windows. And it started loading our user profile. And the last step that, that is left is the installation of Wember tools. And as you can see, the Wember tools installation has started. And it seems that it installed successfully. Also, we can go to control panel and to power settings, change plan. And as you can see, uh, the turn off of the display is disabled. And that's it for this video. If you want to see more content about Vember Workstation, uh, subscribe and leave a like. See you in the next one.